I had to do a double take when I realized you were the same person who played um, David Mack in City of Lies. Yes, 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 yes. Really good work in both films. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was a very different role. We actually had the screening last night at Two Short Studio in Los Angeles with Brad Furman. We had a little release party with some of the cast. And uh, that was a great film and a, and a great project to be a part of. And uh, I'm glad you had to do a double take. I guess I did my job. <laughs> 100%. I could totally dive in on that one. But one of the things, jumping into Stowaway, since I have such limited time, one of the things that I really responded to is the fact that the film doesn't really have a villain. Uh, the villain is just the situation they've been dealt. Um, mm. And I found that very refreshing. Can you sort of talk about that aspect of this, the script? Yeah, I think that's what makes the script super special. It's a human piece, you know, and the elements at play are kind of, if you want to call them the the the, the antagonist, you know, if there's even that, um, just really dealing with human emotion, human interaction, and dealing with the stakes of a situation. It's kind of great. It's it's similar to films that I love, like um, you know, Castaways of the World, and you know, elements of I Am Legend. And so when looking at this script, I said, you know, this is something what I, you know, such a human piece and it's about living in that truth. And you literally are on this roller coaster ride when you're reading it from the beginning to the end, just on the script alone of like, what's going to happen, you know, where's this going to go? Cause you're not expecting some alien to come in and intercept the process. It's just kind of, you know, dealing with the, the elements at play, which is space. It's primarily four actors in a room debating the moral quandary of what they've been dealt. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sort of, can you sort of talk about the fact that it's really just the four of you, the whole movie, um, and on what day did you get sick of somebody? I'm joking, I'll be <laughs> <laughs> No, it's kind of like a stage play. You know, I come from the theater, so for me, it felt like I was in a contained space, like I was back in theater school. Um, and no, I didn't get sick of, of anybody. Daniel Day Kim, Anna Kendrick, and Tony Collette, you know, definitely beasts individually in their own right. But um, it was it was an incredible, intimate experience for me. And you don't get to play in those type of confines and those type of arenas very often. Usually you're surrounded by other elements, locations, and, and, and dealing with people, randoms running on the set by accident or having to cut because of a plane. But this set was very controlled and very contained, which really helps the performance at times, which is definitely a rarity as you don't get that you know, very often in the, uh, the new CGI green screen age that we're all in. Completely. Um, my, I think it's probably my last thing for you. I read that you actually slept in the place that you sleep in the movie to sort of, <laughs> sort of mentally figure out like what that environment was like. Can you, can you sort of share um, your motivation for doing that and what you learned from doing that? Wow. I don't know how you got that information, but that's incredible. But yes, um, a lot of time in my preparation process, I, I tend to immerse myself before I even go to camera. So for this project, I've never been to space, obviously. Um, and so I wanted to really understand what it felt like to be claustrophobic in a small space, you know, what Michael went through in that process. So not only did I sleep in the space every single morning, my call time was at seven. So I show up to set at five and I would spend the extra two hours sleeping in the compartment on set. I actually, um, in, this, in the room that they had me holding in, I had all the lights off. I actually put um, black construction paper all along my windows and poke little dots in them to emulate stars. So as much as so I can be in darkness as much as I can and really felt small and feel small. And, and Michael's a little introvert and I wanted to really be able to, you know, have that authentic experience flowing through my blood from the moment I, you know, arrived on set. And that was something that Joe Penna and the crew in Germany allowed me to do, you know, pre-COVID of course. And I, I do believe it definitely helped because I felt aches and pains every morning, which was kind of nice because, you know, being in that stowaway place for a couple of hours or two hours, I think it was, you know, you're definitely going to feel those aches and pains, which I think helped my process at least. Um, and hopefully it showed on screen. It did. Congrats on the movie. And thank you so much for your time. Hey, Stephen. Thank you, man. I got to see one of those toys in real life. I want one. <laughs>